Kendra, so nice to talk to you. So nice to catch up a day before it all kicks off. How are you feeling? Are there nerves? Oh, look, there's definitely nerves. I think there's no hiding from that. But, um, you know, nerves, nerves elicit the same response as excitement. So looking to, um, yeah, just get stuck in as soon as um, the whistle goes off for the girls. And um, I'm sure they'll be raring to go. So do you approach this from any other game that you play? I know you're coming off the bench and things, but do you think that by the time you get there sitting on the bench in front of that crowd and it's going to be a full house and everything else, do you think that you, it'll, it'll, it'll change inside you somehow? Uh, oh, look, we, we sort of talked last night as, as leaders and um, this is, again, another what if. A lot of girls, myself included, haven't stood in front of a stadium that full before. So... There, there will be something, um, but I think the work that we've done prior to this on our mental skills and being able to connect to where we are in that moment and um, the work we've done on the footy field, it, it, it's going to be fine, but something's going to come up and um, I'm excited to feel that and um, to have those memories after that time's done. Yeah, look, I'm sorry. It's such a convoluted question I was asking you, but you answered it beautifully. That's what I that's what I wanted to know. You can talk about this as much as you can, but until you actually sit there, breathe it, feel it, hear it, smell it, all of that kind of stuff, that's when it's actually real, right? Exactly. And we've got some girls here that have, that have you know, played in World Cups before, but um, we've also got a whole bunch that haven't and we're trying some things at training to try and, you know, replicate loud noise when you can't hear the line out calls and you can't hear the girl next to you to sort of be prepared for that. But, um, yeah, look, I think this, this first one's going to be an experience, that's for sure. That's so cool to hear. That's, and that's what I expect from your coach, who is an absolute genius, is Wayne Smith, and, and he has got so much experience at these things. Are, you know, are his words comforting? Are they wise? Uh, you know, how do you how do you how do you actually take them? Um, I think the thing with Smithy and um, you know, not just Smithy, Ted and Crono and Wood and Wesley, they very much want us to play, um, and so they're very much no matter what happens, if you win in with your full intent, um, they're going to be happy. And um, you know, we don't accept mediocre, but if the odd pass goes astray because we're trying something and that was the right decision, then they're pretty happy. And I think the them being genuine with the comments that ma- they make allow us to play freely. Um, so we're just excited to be able to play a game like that. It gets us excited as players and hopefully all the 30, 30-odd thousand um, people at the stadium will get excited by it too. Kendra Reynolds is with us. Black Ferns, it's all underway, the triple header. Look, and, you know, this is the first time that any of you have played in front of a crowd like that. So it's, you know, I mean, how do you know until you're actually running out there? But, uh, you know, I expect that, look, and even if you have to keep it inside, there's going to be a big grin on, isn't there? Because how can you not react to that? I mean, this is as good as it gets, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, everyone is so excited. And um, I'm so happy to be here and be in this moment. And, even for our girls that are playing, you know, they're very much excited for the ones that do get to play. And um, it's very much team first, so we're all just so excited. And, um, yeah, the, the smiles are from ear to ear, that's for sure. It's come such a long way, hasn't it? I mean, this is the whole thing. And um, I think it was Ruby Terry was saying it after Adelaide, in the test after Adelaide, just looking around that stadium and saying, look, the crowd, you know, here we are. Look, we know, look we've got all our own kit. We've got our coaches. We're in a hotel. We're doing that. It's like it's real, you know, and... And I know it's about time, but these things do take time as well. Yeah, exactly. And um, we have a really cool connection with um, our legacy players, our past players that have paved the way for, um, I guess, us girls that are reaping the rewards at this moment. And even our opening ceremony that we had on Monday, it was just, it was electric. It was a really great energy um, amongst the group, between the teams. Um, yeah, World Rugby did a really great job of that ceremony, so we're so excited. Twelve teams, and yeah, they're just. I mean, what I also like about I like about the women's rugby as well is that the kind of faux animosity or something that men have that we you know that we have to kind of you know sort of posture and push and all of that kind. Of, you don't kind of get that, which I you know I mean it's it, I can understand why us men do it because we're a bit stupid at times in the brain, but. But it just seems that there's <laughs> I don't have to tell you that. But I just love the camaraderie. I thought that was really cool to see at that opening. Oh, sorry, at the welcoming. Yeah, 
yeah, I think I, I always take, you know, there, there are probably some teams or some individuals that do feel like that, but what I believe is that as women's rugby players, as women, as, as sports people, we're fighting against so many things. Why would we fight against each other? Um, until we cross the white line. Like, then yep. it's all on. Yep. But when we're off the field, like, let's just get behind the fact that we're doing something that goes against the grain. Um, we're leading, we're inspiring. Um, let's let that be the show rather than the silly antics between teams. <laughs> Kendra, so obviously we all know what the ultimate goal is. What have they said to you, your, you know, your coaching and your management and everything else about removing that from your mind and just actually, as you said earlier, living in this moment and making sure that this game is the only game that counts right in front of you? Yeah, I guess um, sort of all year, you know, we have, we're going out to win a World Cup and um, we're not hiding from that. But the fact is, is any tournament style, you've got to take it game by game. And there will be things that we we leave um, we leave until, you know, come playoff time. But against Australia, we're just looking to, you know, assert a real attacking flair and, I guess, put on a show and show, show the other teams, I guess, the start of what the best friends are going to bring this World Cup. Because you've got to win it again. There's no such thing about defending it, is it? I mean, four years ago is four years ago. It's a lifetime ago in sport is what it is. Oh, 100%. And the game's moved and um, leaps and bounds. And, you know, it's more rapid in other countries than, than some. And so we don't know what's going to happen. All we have to do is put out our best. And, um, yeah, hopefully that will be good enough on the day. Wayne Smith said when we spoke to Smithy um, a few weeks ago, he talked about, he said, you know, courage was one of the great words that I thought he, he wants it, he wants you to play with courage. And I asked him what he meant by that. And he just said, look, it's seeing, it's looking in front of you, seeing the space in front of you, look, being aware of what's around you and not being afraid at all because we have a really skilled team. We've got a really quick team. The way we're going to win this, if we win it, is by being that. That doesn't mean doing, you know, sort of things that you wouldn't normally do, but I think you explained that, isn't it? Is that how you absorb what he's saying to you when he says words like courage? Yeah, and it's like, I guess a lot of it too is about trusting your first instinct to be right. And that's a real courageous thing to do, to, to be able to look up and, and um, just respond to what your body wants to do and you know that sports psychologists call that when you're in a state of flow and you can't get into flow without courage and there's also the courage between our team to demand excellence of each other and um you know to demand someone has your inside on defense and to demand someone gives that tip ball when it's on and um yeah we, we love what Smith's done for us in that courage space and with the help of Ellen Bunting to um, bring that into our off-field life as well. But it's rugby. It's a collision sport. It's a contact sport. Do you love that side of it? Oh, mate, I bloody love that side. That's my favourite part. Go on. Uh, time and time again, man. If I can be in a ruck or if I can be the one making a tackle, I'm, I'm happy. That's where I get my joy. Go on. Oh, <laughs> so, <laughs> I love hearing that, you see, because I mean, that's the point of this, isn't it? You're going to put them down. You're going to come to me. I'm going to put you down. Yesterday, we have a full collision contact training, and um, that's my happiest day of the week other than game day, that's for sure. Oh, look, uh, you know, genuinely wish you all the best, and I know that, uh, you know, you've got a, you know, a, a country behind you, but as I said to Ruhe last week, it comes down at a moment like this, that this is the most important thing is about, is about you, is about you lot, is about the faces that are around you, uh, and, and is it about the people that you've been training with, and do this for yourselves. First and foremost, it's not about anyone else, your families, no one else. It's about you, you, I was going to say you guys, you girls doing it for yourselves. Do it for yourselves and the rest comes after that. Thanks for that. We're looking forward to it. Can't wait.